And now to a developing story. Police and federal agents under fire in a Miami Gardens neighborhood. This afternoon, one suspect is dead. Multiple others in custody and a family is demanding answers. CBS News Miami's Joe Gorchall has been working on the, the story all morning long. He's live in Miami Gardens with new reaction. Joe. Maribel, after a sleepless night, a grieving mother came outside this home, which you see behind me over my right shoulder, to speak with the media to share her side of what happened. She says her son was shot and killed shortly after Miami Gardens police arrived in the backyard of their home. I love my baby. And I wish this never happened. A woman who goes by Angela shares her grief after watching her son take his last breath. I watched him kill my son, and they didn't even help him. They didn't administer no CPR, no nothing. They just stood over his body. Fighting through tears, she provided a much different account from law enforcement in this Miami Gardens fatal shooting on Northwest 27th Place. Multiple law enforcement agencies swarmed the area quickly late Thursday night after it happened. The city's police chief told us her officers were doing a joint detail with ATF. And while on patrol in the area, that group responded to shots fired at around 1048 last night. Our officers responded to the area, at which time they were fired upon by subjects. They returned fire. We have currently three in custody. The police chief tells us no ATF agents or Miami Gardens officers were injured. If folks are brazen enough to fire upon our officers and are out here doing violent crime, they will be dealt with accordingly. The mother of the son shot and killed describes a much different encounter. It was just a commotion in, at the back door and my daughter was beaten on the door saying someone was chasing them from the store, which it turned out to be the police. And when they got here, my son naturally, you know, he was in the house, came outside to see him. He just took two steps off the back porch and they shot him five times. Angela said the police never identified themselves. We reached out to Miami Gardens police again to find out exactly what led up to the shooting, but they have not returned our calls or emails. And as for Angela, she's left to grieve and care for her son's daughter. She's not taking it well. She can't sleep at the moment. We all haven't been to sleep. And besides asking Miami Gardens police for more information, we've also requested the body cam footage related to this shooting. Reporting live in Miami Gardens, Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami.